on behalf of the Minister for Infrastructure and Transport, it gives me great pleasure to join you here this evening with the COP23 Secretariat, co-host Republic of Marshall Island and USP. This is also a special event as we to hold the Pacific Transport Forum and Expo here in Suva in November. As part of our commitment in tackling climate change, we see this as an important opportunity for us to Talanoa here in the Pacific and focus on what has been the key sector which is yet to be looked at transport. As we all know, spending on imported fossil fuel is high and how dependent our economy is on fuel. Most of all, the fuel we import is used for transport and that we are all dependent on transport at all aspects of our life for food, access to market, health, education, you name it, we need transport. Another aspect is that transport is the single biggest emitting sector in Pacific. We also know that some of the existing transport options are not so good for our health and our environment. We import cars, trucks, planes and ships from all over the world. Just over, the, over 100 years ago, Fiji was the major, major boat building center building thousands of boats using only renewable materials and energy and exporting them to our neighbors. Today, it is only uh, the outer island communities that still build their own vessels and make use of that knowledge. Fiji has started work on a low emission development strategy to set national decarbonization target and action including the transport sector. So the forum is timely as we will be able to share with you what, are, what we are looking at in terms of translating our domestic transport. We are also reviewing our NDC. Lots are happening in the transport sector internationally and countries across the world are making major studies in decarbonizing land, sea and air transport. The forum and expo give us an opportunity to hear from some of the global leaders on what is happening in their part in other part of the world and what might work here in the Pacific. Showcasing some of the zero and low carbon technologies for the transport sector that is appropriate for our islands. The expo gives the public and the private sector an opportunity to have a look at what the options are first hand. So it gives me great pleasure to invite you to be part of our Talanoa in November and we look forward in working with you. Cheers. Thank you.